Hey guys, I'm LB, and since we solved the last Fumbly Bumbly map in under two minutes, let's- let's try Obdurate instead for today. Easy medium difficulty, a puzzle focusing on funnel polarity and momentum. Inspired by Alme Souffre's No Elements Seesaw, Music used, Testing with Nature and Testing with Nature Funnel by Harry Culligan, aka Harry101UK. Please report any exploits and such in the comments, your feedback is appreciated. It's been favorited by Jay Galtney and R3- Dash. Looks good to me. And also I think I noticed Libby Bapa has played it. Yep, Libby Bapa has indeed played it. Right, well, let's go ahead and jump into it, shall we? Welcome to the future. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Right, so our exit condition is to press that button with the funnel and a cube. While also being over there, of course. Gotta be over there, that's- that's one of the main requirements. It looks like we're gonna use that to get back over there, because these fizzlers don't ever turn off from the looks of it. Which means this fizzler probably does turn off, or not. It might actually not turn off, we'll have to place the portal, and then funnel ourselves over here while we're standing on this side, would be my guess. Not sure what these are for. I guess they're just decorative uh, while also being somewhat useful, maybe? Hmm... We can also use these to fling ourselves, I suppose. Or they might just be that way for the sake of not allowing us to use the funnel in a certain way. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a cube and see if it respawns. Well, assuming I can toss it into the lake. There we go. It does not auto-respawn. Gotcha. So. Seems like to get over there, I'm gonna have to abandon the funnel. Let's go put a cube on this button. Supposedly, this changes the funnel polarity. Aha! Uh -huh. Oops, that is not the key I wanted to press. Thought I hit caps lock accidentally, but now yeah, didn't. Yep, that changes the funnel polarity, all right. What do we have over there? Let's go investigate. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is this. Ah, this looks interesting. What do we have up here? Mm hmm. Thought so. So let's see, this is... five blocks, and then this is only two blocks. Interesting. But then we also have one, two, three, four, five as well. Ooh. I don't think I've seen this particular layout before, I'm not sure what the best way to use this would be. So how would I get back... Because I want to keep a portal up there, right? Oh, I'm- I'm being dumb. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, because I can always- as long as I can get in through my portal, I can always shoot a portal up there. Oh, no wait. I'm not being dumb after all. Hmm. Never mind. Let's- we'll, we'll have some time to consider this, I suppose. After- after all, we do have a reversed funnel as well that I need to figure out how to use. Also, how do I get anywhere from here? This... is quite a mystery, isn't it? I think I see what these are for. Not only are they for flinging, but they prevent us... from using the funnel to pull ourselves across. Okay. One thing at a time. Let's go look at the reversed funnel. Figure out what all we can do with this, now that we have it. Yep, exactly what I thought. Actually, how do I do anything now? <laughs> Guess I just have to portal over there without the funnel, then. How 
swap out. Let's put this over there. And fire a portal over there. Why don't we? I think I see something here. Yes, so now we can get the funnel. And then, we can do this. Reverse Funnel Ahoy! Excellent. Yep, we can place it there if we want to, but it doesn't do us any good right this second. This explains some things, doesn't it? Aha! Yeah! This allows us to get a portal on the ceiling while also getting out. Isn't, isn't that nice? I think we're mostly done. I think we're at the halfway point. Those two statements that I just said in quick succession are effectively, uh, in disagreement with each other. That's interesting, why is it using that signage? I guess Fumbly Bumbly just liked that signage more. Right, so. We need to get over there, to get the cube off the button, by respawning it, and then we need to come back, is my understanding, with the cube. Step one. Step two, add butter. Uh, think we'll be able to make it across from here? Maybe. Maybe not. I suppose we'll find out. Geronimo! Yeah, we made it across. Excellent. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. I see how things are. Let's, uh, let's put the cube in a safe position. Looks safe enough to me. Ooh, Kaylin, I need to move the portals in advance. Gotcha. Now, if this weren't at ground level, things would be quite interesting. But thankfully it is at ground level. Hmm. I think we're mostly done now. Yeah, I think we're just about done. Yeah, cool map! I like that. Very simple and straightforward. But it requires some thinking. Exactly the kind of map I like. There we go. Alright. Well guys, as always, thank you so much this for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all you in another video. Goodbye! If you have, in fact, not...